All right, now this is part of the X Cellize uh, repo. So you want to go back to your sources and add cydia.xcellize.com. And I'll have that in the video so you guys can see that and add it yourself. So you want to go into your uh, into that repo and search for speed intensifier. And then once you find that, what it does is it, it speeds up all the animations on your phone. And you can go down into your settings down here. If you scroll all the way down, you can see speed intensifier right there. Click on that and it lets you have one, only one really option. Click on that and you can change how fast you want it to be. So I have it set to default and I have a phone over here that does not have it installed. And I'll show you guys what it basically does for your apps and all the animations. So it stays in your cache. So once you open up an app, you want it to uh, stay in your cache. So you don't want to clear it all out of your uh, multi-test bar down here. But I'm going to clear these out for now just to show you what it looks like. So I have calendar and calendar. I'm going to open up both of these on the phones at the same time. Now this is going to beat it at first, but since it's not in the cache. So I'm going to open this up. Just like that. So you can see that loaded quicker. But now that it's in the cache, I'm going to exit out of both of these and open them up again. So now that it's in the cache, I'm going to open them up at the same time right here. Just like that. So you guys can see that it does actually load it faster. And there's even more settings you can do with it. Like you can make it even faster. I would just set the default. You can go down to fastest or as slow as negative 10. The numbers really don't matter. They just, it's just so that you can know how fast they're going to be. Uh, then you have to respring your device every time you do it. So this is speed intensifier and it's free, uh, in Cydia. So my next tweak is called Flux or F.LUX. It's also on Windows and Mac for your computers. But basically what this does is it changes the color of your screen so that it's not as uh, harsh on your eyes once you get into the later uh, parts of the day. So you can change the time. Uh, you can change the different kind. Of, as you guys can see, it changes what it looks like. That's not what it's going to look like at the end of the day. Uh, we can change it from candle, incandescent, halogen, or fluorescent. And now this changes basically the uh, glow or the orangeness of your uh, device depending on the time of the day it's really cool you don't actually notice it until uh, the first few days you'll notice it but once you get used to it you don't notice it at all and this does actually help your eyes uh, it's not as it's not as harsh on them it's not as bright you can always turn down the brightness but if you like to have the brightness up at night but you don't want it to be hurting your eyes as much definitely try out flux so again depending on the time it'll change the screen color to a more orangish type glow uh, so that it doesn't hurt your eyes as much at night so tweak number three is called dashboard X now what this does is it lets you actually have uh, widgets on your home screen just like Android so I have a weather widget up there as well as an NC settings widget down here so now what this does is it lets you change the uh, brightness so you can change the volume as well as Wi-Fi and a bunch of other toggles in there that you can change uh, this one has a weather widget up here and now once you install it the way that you actually add a widget to the home screen is you click and hold on an app and then you click and hold on the uh, desktop or not the desktop the home screen and then you have all these other things and you can download other ones from city as well but I have SB settings uh, NC settings and a few other ones I use the weather widget and the NC settings one that's how I got the ones over there and let's say I wanted to do the stock widget so I'm going to click there's a few other options there but I'm just going to click add widget and you can see down there there it is and now I can take this and drag this basically anywhere I want it to go I can put it behind apps I can put it over here I'm just going to put it right down there so the way that you save it is you just click the home button and it'll save it right under your home screen. You can interact with it. And if you click on it, it'll actually launch the app that you have installed on your device. And now it's it's really cool. There's a bunch of other uh, different ones you can get. And the way that you erase it, you just do the same thing. You click and hold on a app and you just hit the little X button right there and it erases it. So that's how I got the NC settings one right here as well as the weather widget up top. So that is Dashboard X and check it out in Cydia. Tweak number four is called Intellis Screen X. And now what this is, is it lets you have stuff on your uh, home screen, on, on your lock screen actually. So if I just scroll this down, you guys can see I have the weather widget as well as the stock widget there. And also if I scroll to the left over here, I have Twitter. So I can follow Twitter people. I can actually go into this without even opening my phone. And if I click on one, I can open, I can open it, go to the link, uh, retweet it or reply. I'm going to open it and it'll actually launch my Twitter app and bring me right to that tweet. Uh, by Techno Buffalo right there. So it's pretty cool. You have you can have a bunch of other stuff on here as well. I don't have too much. If you get a text message, you can also uh, use it on the dashboard as well. You can also add, instead of just Twitter, you can add your email and a bunch of other uh, social networking stuff as well. So this is IntelliScreen X. Check it out in Cydia. So now tweak number five is called Iconoclasm. That's how I actually got my apps to look like this. So I have a little gap there and a little bit bigger gap up there, and I don't have any apps down here. So Iconoclasm lets you design what your home screen and all your other pages are going to look like. And a great thing to get with Iconoclasm is called Layout Maker. What Layout Maker lets you do is literally design exactly where you want your apps to go. So if I put one here and I added another one, and two, 
three, four, five, and I put all these everywhere, all my apps would look exactly like that on my uh, dashboard, on my home screen. Once I save this in the app and save it to my home screen and then I respring the device, my apps will look like this. So my first app will be there and so on and so forth. So it let me actually design exactly how I wanted my home screen to look. So using Iconoclasm as well as Layout Maker let me have these gaps here which let me use the Dashboard X widgets and look really, really nice. And you were all asking me how I got my home screen to look like this. I used Dashboard X for the widgets, then I used Iconoclasm with Layout Maker to make the little gaps in between the apps and then I put the widgets right in between there and it looks really good. I actually like exactly how this looks. Also, if you're wondering how I got my apps to be this small, I used a tweak called Springtomize and that lets you uh, change a bunch of stuff with the springboard as well as the app sizes. But I'm not going to